Hi, everybody. So today we're going to talk about what is coming this year. And we're going to try and define why we're all here as far as what's going on in the world, what this time is about, this time of ascension, and also what can we expect this year? Okay, go ahead. Shanti has some questions. Shanti's oh. going to help me define this. So go for it. Oh, okay. Well, again, I'm going to say don't expect anything. Expect the unexpected. Because that oh, yes. word itself. But what are some of the things that are going to show up <laughs> most likely? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, okay, let's start with um, energy. So we've seen light codes coming in for, you know, solar flashes, solar flares coming in for quite a while now. Uh, where do you see we're at with that? Uh, the solar flash, I believe, began on December 21st. So obviously we've been getting light codes and sun, you know, messages from the sun for years now and our bodies have been upgrading, but now it's increasing. And it's going to increase at an exponential rate until the end of March. And then it'll start to decline. So we're going to see a lot of stuff happen at a faster rate until we hit the end of March. And then things will slow down a bit. Because ultimately, that that is the foundation of everything. Because that's what allows us to be in a higher frequency. Right. So well, and it's why we're know. it's why we're here. Sorry. Yeah. Talk. Yeah. Um, and that's why going. Go yeah. On. And that's why going within mm -hmm. and and really getting as much of that as possible, allowing your body to because the physicality is the hard part that we're going through. Yeah. The emotion and the physicality of it. Yeah, because we're going from carbon based to crystalline based. So some people call that diamond, but I actually call it crystalline. So we're gonna be able to contain more light within our body. We may look the same, but we'll actually be lighter. So I actually think if you step on the scale after this process is over, you will be lighter even if you fit into the same clothes. Hmm. Yeah, there's a, there's I get a definite feeling of when I am in flow that it, everything is light and floaty. Yep. Like you actually feel light. You do. Yeah. So does that mean that? Oh, go does ahead. That mean that everybody, um, people are going to have the best chance to to awaken or ascend in this the next couple of months, and after that, it's going to be very difficult for them. You know what I mean? Like, is the majority of people going to experience some sort of a change? In the next a lot of, of the people that are definitely leaving will leave during this period of time, but the ascension process goes through 2027. So if people are on the fence, then they'll stay. Like if they haven't decided what they're doing or if their sole contract is to stay longer, but if they're definitely leaving, if they're definitely service to self, if they're negatively polarized, they'll be leaving. A lot of people will be leaving before the end of March. So it speaks to the, um, we also get questions still from people wondering about why they're feeling certain ways and all that. And that's all part of it physical, you know, um, aches and pains or emotions. And so as we get going, like you said, it kind of the decision and the finality isn't for until what, 27, you said, 2027? Yeah, 2027. So will it still go into that time where people will still be kind of in flux with their body or? No, no. I think okay. most of the body stuff will be done. By then. Uh, probably by the end of this year. Yeah. Like as far as even the reverberation from it, like the after effects will be mostly mm -hmm. done. It'll be the emotional stuff that still needs to be worked through. Okay. Yep. And that's a lot of what we're seeing now with people, all of it coming up and arguments and- Crying, yeah. Yeah, lots of emotion coming up. Mm -hmm. 
There's a lot Which of emotion. Is good. We're also, and it's really good just to let it out. And we're also getting new pieces of ourselves coming down from our higher self. So we're actually expanding as well. So our soul is growing and our body is changing right now. Do you think we'll have major changes in um, what we feel and sense and know before the peak or will it do you know do you understand what i'm saying will there will it be mm -hmm. I mean, will there be a point where we can just like really get it yeah more and more okay I and think... what about like oh, go, go ahead. ahead no go ahead and the people who aren't as awake are they going to have to like have a catch-up period before they are like with the same level as everyone yeah, it'll take them a while to catch up. So think of it as I got a download, but I never opened it. So like you got an email full of all this information with all these pictures and you never opened it up. So you're going to get all your information by the end of the solar flash. All your information will be available, but you'll only open it as it's in your highest good. In so, terms of memories. Memories, mean? gifts. Go ahead, Rex. Well, I think maybe a lot of people are confused about when we say there's the decision that you get to make. Well, if if is that I want to clarify that because is that like a conscious decision where or it's a your soul contract, I get that, because that's subconscious and nothing's a coincidence and it all opens up for you. However, when we say that, you know, there's those that will decide in, in, in over time in the next, are they subconsciously deciding or is it something like a, an email comes in and they and, and they just get to go, okay, now I know everything. I'm going to decide I'm going to send. But no, you're not because that's not what was written for you. Or, you know, clear that. Can you clear that? You can change your soul contract. So you can change it while you're here, but most people won't. And then there's another factor. A lot of the people here are third density people. And they've been in this dome for, you know, a thousand years. But they're still very young as a soul. Because the third density is 100,000 years long. So if they're only a few thousand years into third density... They're not ready to ascend, so they're going to go to another 3D planet where they can continue to grow. Because it wouldn't be fair to ask a toddler to do trigonometry. Will we have appeared? Would we have appeared to die to them? Yes. How, does, how do we look? Okay. So we yeah. So like somebody that's a third density being and has decided to go, or if they're negative, like they're polarized to the negative then they will go. So a lot of these icky people that, you know, we're always talking about, they're going to be going automatically because they're service to self. But then you'll have some of the younger souls that are just not ready. So they'll be going as well. Yep. So we look like we, to them, we look like we've died to them. We've, we've gone. And then they look like the, it's, it's just a shared vision. No. No, so they get to go back to source, you know, go back to God source and be reassigned to another planet. They're going to okay. know that they went. We're okay. not going to look like we croaked. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I finally understood what you're saying. Yeah. No, I was having a hard time trying to get that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, David. <laughs> Does, because you said that third density lasts 100,000 years. If you had a soul that um would would the soul evolve over those hundred thousand years to get to fourth density no matter what they did on earth yes. and then what if some what if you had a soul that did a lot of spiritual work in that time maybe would it would it be less than a hundred thousand years to get to the fourth density yeah it's just a guideline uh i would say any time after probably sixty thousand years if you really pushed it like you could amp up your time and one thing is time in the dome 
which is the most yeah. traumatic experience um, that beings have had. Yeah. It basically is worth 10 or 15 lifetimes. One lifetime in the dome is 10 or 15 lifetimes somewhere else. Right. Because we're not allowed to know who we are while we're here. Yeah. Yeah. Really? It's hard to quantify then the 100,000 years because it's not really, it, it's not what, what we think is a year long. It's not really, I mean, it's not what we think it is. It's right? just so, a good 3D what, way to say it. Like it's a good guideline. Yeah. Yeah. So it's difficult to even say how long 100,000 years is. Right. Right. Time fast. It is the shortest period. Third density is the shortest. Would it be easier to say how many lifetimes that would be? No, because like the human lifetime here has been like 75 years oh, or 80 yeah, right. years or whatever, but a lot of humans uh, somewhere else will live to be like a thousand. <laughs> yeah, okay. What about changes in society? I'm thinking about, you know, in terms of, you know, to the average people, when will the, um, I'm getting a iffy feeling about saying the G word you know, the powers that be in every single establishment of country, mm -hmm. you know, the powers that be, when will, when will those organizations fall? Is, is the time still fluctuating? And what about when will people basically stop paying income tax, for example? When will people be accommodated with the perhaps with a strawman's account or with uh, with this kind of like a monthly stipend? When will the free electricity and energy be available at everybody? When will the truths, the ugly kind of a truth come out? When will people know the truth about all these different organizations and large families that have been basically have owned this area? And, and made the world go round to their liking and bidding. When will all of this start to unfold so that the average person who doesn't really pay attention to anything, who doesn't understand that the moon is tilted to one side and then after two hours it's on the other side and, and maybe it's on the opposite direction what it basically used to be, etc. Or that, you know, maybe there are government leaders with three or four different faces and uh, maybe they just are actors. I don't know. Maybe there's another explanation. Maybe they're shapeshifters or just, you know, maybe they are actors. But, you know, I'm talking about the people who are basically fast asleep still. When will yeah. their worlds change to the point that they cannot not figure out what's been going on? So I think that's on track again, which it hasn't been for a long time. Um, as far as like universally, yes, it was, but planned by the humans. No, it wasn't. So mm -hmm. I do believe that that is being pushed quite hard right now. And I don't see any obstacles in the way. So I do believe before we're done with the solar flash, which ends in July. Okay. Um, we will see a lot of that stuff happen. The very first thing that I see happening is for the governments, we'll just say governments once here or twice, um, to start to disintegrate and fall. And as that happens, the military will step in and they're going to have to provide relief to the people as soon as possible, because that is to take away the need for paying attention to everything else so that you can survive monetarily is the very first thing that they need to end for people. People need to be t cradled so that they have enough for survival because that's gonna help them with ascension because it takes you out of the root chakra. So I think that will come almost immediately as soon as we see things really flip around. And I think we're on track, but I'm not going to give dates, but it looks like we're very on track for that. 
um, in the very immediate future. Yeah. So we I can know honestly a lot say of that, people in trouble. Yeah. We can honestly say that this is the year that things are going to move. Yeah. I mean, we've been saying certain to a certain degree for the last couple of years, but because of knowing when the solar flash is, it has to be. Nothing can stop it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even if um, nothing was happening in the background with good guys and bad guys, the solar flash would push everything forward because this is the year of truth. Like people are not putting up with lies anymore. So because yeah, because just the that will allow people to see. Yeah. And also not like. So many people have been so sucked in because of survival to working constantly, never taking any time for themselves. They have children that are needing them. Like they're so overwhelmed that they can't see what's right in front of them because they can't even take a breath. So that's what is going to end almost immediately. That was on purpose. Oh, it was totally on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, to take people out of being present. Yeah. Because ultimately that's that's what it is. It's distraction. If you're distracted, you're not present, you're not in flow, you're not yeah. able to see. So, exactly. Yeah. So since the 50s, when you could have one income, two cars, and a house, and you could go on vacation, and all of that fit into one income. So ever since the 50s, they've been trying to dismantle that. Well, we used to not have taxes, right? So, right. That was and the world was the world was fine without them. So yeah. again, you know, it's like start looking at why are all these things in place. Right. And I do believe that sales tax will still exist, but income tax will not. And also, if you own a piece of property, I don't see them taxing it over and over every year. That's not legal either. That's one of the stupidest things. People think that they own the house and then if they don't pay their tax, and the, 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 pe the people in power can steal it. Right? They can take it off you. Well, they can take it off you even without, even if you do pay it. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. Well, the land. That, yeah, no one really owns the land. Yeah. Was it was it the women's movement? And I, and if no, I'm all about that. That equalities for that. I'm talking about pulling the woman out of the house to get her into a career, and split. And the divorce rates went up from that. And there was a lot of latch kid, lat. What do you call them? Latch, latch, key. latch key kids. That when we got home from, there was no one there. You just had to. You had to just go about what be a responsible kid and do what you hoped so you didn't get in trouble or whatever. But there was really no one at home when you got home, um, and that weakened that unity and that vibration. I think too, mm -hmm. right? And that was all on purpose. All of it's been on purpose, and um, even back to this swing about coming back to the perfect parents that have to. You know, there's no winner. There's no loser. There's, you know, everybody gets a trophy, which is just kind of like, to me, that's negative in ways because it just blinds the the ones that work for something. It, it just it just upsets the whole. I, it creates, I think. That creates ego, giving yes. all of them, right? So they're building up the ego, so that takes over everything. And, and they use the television, you know, the shows to solidify that. In that, mm -hmm. you know, in the 50s and, and 60s or whatever, you had Leave it to Beaver, you know, mom and dad and everybody, it was a unit. And um, then you get into like uh, Brady Bunch, it was two, you know, divorcees who combined their families. And then you get into uh, like Full House and some of those where a lot of shows that showed a single parent. And I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying that speaks to, you know, how, you know, there might not have been both parents for whatever reason. And so between that and getting everybody having to work, both of the parents and away from home, the breakdown of the family unit, no um, with technology, no sitting at the table for dinners anymore, talking about your day, knowing what was going on. It just, 
like a snowball. And all the, all the men in the current TV shows, which have been happening for a long time, they're all bumbling idiots. Like the, the wife is always a smart one. The man is stupid. If you look at any, whether it's a cartoon or it's a, a real life, with, you know, with, with, with people, it's, it's always the same thing. Yeah, some and of it is the, just ridiculous what they make fun of. It's just the demasculization. Mm-hmm. So it's taking the feminine out and then demasculizing the male. Yep. Yeah. And so, get rid of the farm because you got you have TV dinners now so that you can't, you know, get away from that growing your own so that they can put stuff in it for you and give you the TV dinner idea because when you peel back the foil on those, Okay, I wasn't a fan. Uh, they're always were dry on the edges because you cooked them too long. The enchilada dinner was always really bad because it was all dried up on the ends and the beans were all messy. You know, like, oh, really? This is okay, great. This is what we're having tonight. Nice. But I mean, all that on purpose. <laughs> on purpose. Yeah. The on convenience purpose. food was created, yes, because of double income families. Yeah. yeah, but it's really funny. Even now, today's kitchen, there's a, a an appliance to do everything that you could ever dream of, shred, yeah. chop, you know, do whatever. Where are you putting all those things in your kitchen? And not only that, we have less time and spend less time together than ever. It should make life easier. I don't know. It's pretty bass backwards, if you ask me. Well, and there's a mm-hmm. there's an appliance out. I looked at it. Um, I don't know if we can plug for those and I'm not going to, but it's the name of a month and it comes after May, but that's the name of the product. And it knows you put whatever you put in it. It knows what it is and it cooks it accordingly separate, like beans and the meat, the salmon over here and whatever you just put it in there and it will cook those in that little areas. And I'm just thinking and it's from Wi-Fi, and it, uh, I'm just, see, I don't want anyone to know what I'm eating necessarily. And that would be a perfect way for the whole world to be able to Wi-Fi in on your food. And I just can't imagine that being good at all. No. But look it up. It's 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 that second. It's it's the sixth month. Is what it's called, and that's just that name. And that it's a it's an oven that does all these things, and people rave about, about it. But people rave that. about it. But you know, it just look it up. When it, when it comes to food, I've looked. I've done a lot of searching in terms of. Uh, what foods do what but ultimately it all comes down to energy and fruit is the highest energy that you can get in any food because it's in light all of its growing time so it's not under the ground like vegetables and I and I tried it out and it's it's absolutely true Uh, it's hard to do which is why I'm not doing it now Um, but to me, everything in terms of that, in terms of food, as you break it down to its simplest form, its original form, its original creation, and anything past that is not of the right frequency. For example, a friend of mine, um, he's been told not to have sugars and even honey, but he uses the pendulum. So he kept on using the pendulum over and over with all sorts of different honey. And eventually he did it over the honeycomb and he got a yes. So basically what he learned was honey in its pure form and its actual pure shape is okay for him. So I thought that was a good example of, of really what, you know, breaking it down to its purest form. Um, What came in while you were saying that is as we process, it's leaking light. Hmm. so the yeah. more we process a food the more light is missing from the food oh well then <clears throat> microwave yeah. must just zap it all out oh yeah you must, Absolutely. You know, i mean you're, yeah. you're, you're just eating, you're just eating a, a, a surface of something you're not even eating anything i mean after a microwave's had it wow for sure yeah it would kill everything wouldn't it yeah yeah and but the tartarian that's great with food a lot right <clears throat> The Tartarians celebrate with food quite a bit, right? They do. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. Right. So, you know, eating is is as much about nutrition as it is about enjoyment and, you know, the, the whole process. And that people I don't think people do that anymore either. No. 
And it's also the energy what you put in the food when you're making it. Because you're right. basically you're blessing the people you are kind of fussing over, be it your family or friends or guests, you know, whoever. So it's also you can infuse different energies to ingredients and, and you get different results with that. There's actually very interesting studies done on the subject. So it depends. If you're kind of a, you know, pissed off at the world and everything in it, please don't cook for your family. I mean, <laughs> but but if you're kind of a happy and you wish to tie them into good stuff, that is a kind of a great way to to infuse that energy into the food food you're making. Mm -hmm. And there are different ways of making. Yeah. And how, how long do you brain. think it will be before our much more clearer mm. sorry i missed part of what you said and how soon before you feel our food is much more clearer oh and healthy much healthier natural. and safer i get it'll take a couple of years to filter through some of it i do think that we have acts we will get access to some really good food that because I know just in other countries the food is better depending mm -hmm. on you know where you live like in the U.S. if you go to another country and you live there for a month you're going to be healthier automatically um so that's something to factor in also that we need to grow some of our own food and mm -hmm. I really believe that the way that Anastasia grew food in the ringing cedars will be a very prominent way of growing food in the future. So I think that's going to be beautiful. And yeah. Um, Which is, and that I'll just quickly explain that because that is implanting your own DNA on the seed. So right. the seed grows knowing what you need. That's exactly. just a, ba a, a basic example of it. Right. And also preparing the soil in a certain way. So we actually have a teacher who's going to be teaching that. Um, there's just so much that's available that's hidden. But let's talk about like what's next. So people are going to be taken care of monetarily enough, at least enough to survive, probably more. Working will become a much like your work week will shorten quite a bit over this year so people are not going to be working as hard unless they're working at something they absolutely love and they want to work a ton um free energy is already starting to appear so i think that will be one of the next things that comes in we had a question today, Julianne, remember? Yeah, yeah about... people are noticing the changes on their utility poles and so forth. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they were asking, is that the five and the G? And I'm like, no, that's the free electricity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on their bills, did you say, Julianne? Pardon? Yeah, I don't think people are going to be paying that bills. anymore. Yeah. Uh, did you say poles? They're telephone pole, the telephone yeah. poles. Yeah, yeah. They're, oh, just right. notice, they're noticing the work they're noticing. changing, changing things. You know, and oh, uh, I see. We don't have those where I live. Oh, you don't have telephone poles. Oh, you're just so missing. No, out. everything's everything's underground now. Yeah. Well, they've started to do that here too. Not not everywhere, but in certain parts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how that will work. I'm getting it'll go through the cell towers, but they'll have to beef them up even more because they're going to have to carry more electricity. But it'll come through those wires still, a lot of that free electricity. So as far as like, is my kitchen going to look completely different by the end of this year? No. But I won't pay for anything as far as the electrical stuff that operates everything I'm doing. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know how one of the advertisements we have in our area, this is the year if you have a meter that looks like this, you know, and get solar power and all that kind of stuff, of course, they're pushing the solar. 
Um, yeah. Which the pollution that comes from solar yeah. mm -hmm. is pretty uh, amazing. And the kids that are digging up the cobalt is like. So explain to me yeah. the, the pollution from the solar a little bit, just a quick. Um, I know that the lithium battery is extremely, extremely Toxic. dangerous. So we've got so many of them now too. Yeah. Like remember when we had a phone that was exploding on people. So it was a Samsung phone. And right. they're like, you can't have that phone. It's going to explode. And then some of the iPhones exploded. And there were people's pockets that were on fire. And you can our neighbor had a fire from a battery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's, there's numerous videos on YouTube of all sorts of batteries, cars, bicycles, bikes, everything exploding and setting a light. Yeah. Well, there's the solar, but I was also thinking about the wind, you know, the, those huge big windmills that have come into our farming community, you know, people that have a lot of acres and they, you know, inserted a lot of those. There's, that's not good either. No, because they don't last very long. They don't produce very much. And then they just basically, they're so big that they can't get rid of them. Mm -hmm. So a lot of them just when they fall, that's it. They don't do anything with them. Hmm. West I Texas think it's so ugly. It's ugly. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's something like three tons uh, mined per battery, something like that. It might be even 30. You'd have to look it up, but it's yeah. a huge amount of mining to get one battery. So that being said, with the future of cars or transportation, we do know that that will change as well. I mean, eventually we won't be about uh, freeways and all that kind of thing. But for right now, they're still trying to crank up the, um, you know, electric cars or the hybrids anyway and whatnot. So when do you see that that's, you know, that we're going to kind of quit doing the, the battery thing? I think that sure. will be exposed very quickly. So as the free electricity comes out, I think the um, the lithium battery will get exposed for what it really is. Um, the whole green agenda. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. They're really pushing that really hard. I know they're really pushing it, and it's not green at all. No. So that's that's classic. That's classic. Yeah, they make teenagers feel guilty for driving a car and like like eating, you know, out and they make them like feel awful. Yeah, it's terrible. It is. Well, that's also where the uh, replicator technology comes in, right? Yeah, and I do think that will come out around 2029, 2030, mm. right in there. Yeah. Um, we're definitely not gonna have like these massive replicators in our homes. I think there will be one. That might replace the microwave, honestly. Um, but as far as like, we're not going to want to eat stuff out of there. But whenever you need something, so let's say you were a big car person, car guy, right? And you needed a part, you could actually just create it. So I think it'll be used for more for that than food at first. I just don't mm. think the food's going to be, I don't know. I'm kind of uh, skeptical about the food thing with the replicator. Yeah, yeah it doesn't feel <laughs> quite right. No, it feels... Although they first. say, although the technology itself is just changing a molecule from one to the other. Yeah. But again, it's like, well, the, the natural side of it, the the light and, you know... The whole process. That, that, yeah, yeah that, imagine that thing that's, that's been growing in the nature absorbing the the energies from the sun yeah and the stuff that comes in replicate i mean <laughs> yeah well, that was very good sound effects <laughs> yeah i have my moments <laughs> yeah so i think that that will happen in this decade but not this year as far as the replicators go i do see the med beds coming this year so i think that they're ready I think they will come out to probably people that are doing, that are in great need. And then people that are doing projects 
will get like almost immediate access. But the thing is, is you also have to be clear in your mind. Yeah. So some people will have to go into counseling first. I think a lot of people will go into a, um, go into a med bed and actually be filmed so that they can say, okay, I came, I went in going, feeling like this and I came out feeling like this because there's a lot of people that are going to be afraid of them. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be kind of a slow rollout. I think people that have been awake will probably get faster access because they'll be more willing to get in one. But, but also this time period <clears throat> is everyone actually coming to the realization that they can heal themselves. So I know, for instance, that I can heal myself, right? Yeah. I don't necessarily have all the tools yet because we don't have all the knowledge on how to do it. But as time progresses, we're going to really, really understand that. We will. Probably after 2027, most people will actually know how. Mm. This is the med beds are kind of a bridge. I see them as a bridge. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they're not the but in the meantime. I guess what I'm saying is in the meantime, if people aren't just sitting there going, I need a med bed, they're actually looking at, okay, what what blocks do I have? What, you know, how can I heal myself now? What can I do for myself? Instead of sitting and waiting. Yeah, don't wait. Do whatever, you know, you're moved to do in the meantime. Well, what we're also going to have is we're going to have access very soon to health care, not sick care. They're going to not vilify the natural cures, the natural, sorry, the natural things that help, okay, that, that, that they've been hiding from us from all this time. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah. Well, that, that will happen yeah. this year. There's so many things we can be doing, taking, you know, lifestyle things at our fingertips, and the med beds can be used for possible um, quick kind of fixes, if you will, if it's an urgent kind of deal. Yeah. A lot for, of people, go med, ahead. Sorry. Go ahead, David. Sorry. <laughs> would the med beds be more for uh, things like uh, things that, pe that you could fix that the person's mindset isn't going to recreate, you know, once it's fixed? You know what I mean? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the average person, like if they're if they're fearful about getting to a med bed, then they're not in the, the right mindset to be even thinking about getting to a med bed because they're not. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think um, for people like that, it will be almost like an emergency intervention. You know, like say it'll work for like car accidents and things like that. You know, like if you have a if you it have a, will, like a bad car I feel accident like you have to get kind of patched up a bit first. You know, like if you're bleeding profusely or something's happening, um, then I feel like emergency medicine will still exist. So there will be some emergency things where they actually like stop the bleeding and then they put you in it and then mm -hmm. it repairs you. That's what I'm getting anyway. And so it's... It's... go ahead. But there'll be less car accidents anyway, because we're going to have different Much technology less. around around travel and yeah and uh <clears throat> automobiles and things go around i wanted to say go, i gotta go back to the cars because i live in a port city or near one okay i've been waiting for this question back when but um i know that when you go around the ship channel there are, there used to be acres and acres of cars there are not and they're not there and the dealerships don't have them it's almost like and you can't get your colors that, that you wanted anymore. And it, it, it's a big phase out, it looks like, to that. But the electrical one is not the answer. That's more toxic. Those batteries and that thing, that, that's a big lie, that, that push. So transportation has got to be making some sort of something fairly quick and um, really quick. Because if you want, you know, they want my truck. They're calling me about mine because it's low mileage and it's a 2019. And they know it has low mileage because it's not paid off and they have every, all the little, you know, they can tell everything I do in it. Um, but they want it because they're going to make money on that because it's, you know, only got, it's four years old, has 20,000 miles on it. They want that one. 
but because the, but for me to go buy a new one it's harder i can't get my color i want it's just those are some things that i, I wanted to talk ask about that the timeline for that transportation has to got to be revved up because of the what's available out there is not yeah they're not at the shipping ports they're not the, the those acres and acres of parking lot that they would load those are gone there's not that mm -hmm. many in there right so i think by the end of this year we'll we will we're going to start to see a switch to water being the fuel. And I noticed that um, Elon Musk just brought out a hydro car. Okay. There so yeah. water will be the fuel. And, you know, this is kind of a morbid thing to say, but a lot of people are leaving the earth plane and there's going to be a lot of excess when it comes to cars and houses. So well, those cars and houses will be utilized for the population. And I don't know how that's going to work. I'm sure that's still in the process. Um, but people will be selling those cars. And I get that we're going to have flying cars or anti-gravity or magnetic, basically, because I don't believe in gravity, but magnetic cars by the end of this decade, but I don't get that they're gonna be here as fast as you're hoping for, Rex. <laughs> but, um, sorry. <laughs> but we are gonna have shuttles that take us to trains because I don't think planes are gonna be a thing anymore either. Oh. So I think by the end of this year, we will see train travel versus plane travel. And these are the trains that go underground and are extremely fast. Cool. So, so to clarify, you're talking about hydrogen technology. Yep. Um, and I've I've noticed as a company in Australia that are making trucks with hydrogen technology because Australia doesn't have a rail infrastructure. So trucks is the main, what it does, but not a great one. But trucks is the main transport. So, so really, hydrogen. All cars can be converted to hydrogen technology. Very so easy. it doesn't. Yeah, exactly. It's an easy changeover. Mm -hmm. So that in the interest. So that's just temporary. Uh, yeah, hydrogen. it is. It's temporary, but I will have that okay. for a while. Hydrogen, then water, and then there'll be a different energy source after the water, or will it just be water for for? The uh, older cars will just be water and high water is the hydrogen so it'll just be that um oh, yeah. and then after that it'll be flying cars but they'll still have some roads but i don't think we're gonna have paved roads in the future because it's not good grass for grass Earth roads or for us so mm -hmm. the pavement will be lifted so if you want to drive an old car you're going to be driving it down a dirt road <laughs> That's the best oh, uh, way to do it. Yeah. Uh, what about? So, oh, no, go ahead. No, I, I was just going to throw in there that that I thought that <clears throat> one of the manufacturers in Detroit. Um, I don't like to plug for any of them, but that the the reducing of building the trucks and such and the cars was filled with med bed manufacturing, and I don't know if that's true or not, but I picked that up in my researches and things, and I just put it note to self. But here it comes. So I don't know if that is that real. I get yes on components. Okay. Yeah, but I think they were put together somewhere else. Hmm. Most likely the moon, the actual moon, not the fake one we see. Real quick, while we're still on cars, is there a, such a thing, is it, isn't it? it the Tesla car right now, where some of them have these self-driving kind of um, capabilities is there going is that going to be a thing where things are just kind of uh, cars are programmed to go from a to b without really i don't think they'll them. waste their time with the cars that are already here mm -hmm. um and i think they'll deactivate that in the cars that have it because it's kind of dangerous but i do think in the flying cars it will be activated um mm -hmm. but it will be safe technology versus like you know Oh, we're just gonna take over your car and crash it or something. Right. Yeah. There's a few videos going around of 
test the vehicles going out of control and, and speeding off by themselves and crashing. That'd be oh. scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just China, I saw one. I wouldn't trust that for some reason. I, I went on YouTube and watched them ride along. You know, you can get in one with someone and watch it go and all that. And I'm like, okay, I'd have been putting on the brake long before it does. But, you know, I was brakes were, my brakes chair. weren't working. I don't know what happened. I was like, oh, stop, stop. You know, and it, 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 it stops. Yeah. But not when I'd want to. Well, that that's Wonder where, if... so that, sorry, David, go. Yeah, right. I was, so in the video, I was wondering, obviously they were probably trying to press the brake or something like couldn't they just turn the car off or do something like like that yeah. or i don't know pull the handbrake or i don't know i'm sure they tried a lot of different things it's hard to tell but... well they were asleep maybe they, had, they were back to, maybe, they, Actually, maybe they had they had a, they had a shot or two and they and they passed, oh, they passed out. out yeah i yeah. i watched a couple of videos about this i was i stumbled upon stumbled upon it and I was thinking you know no way not even humans can be that stupid that they fall asleep they actually sleep <laughs> in the car while the car is driving I have a friend and that did that it appears yeah it's yeah. possible it he's appears they do narcoleptic narcoleptic yeah exactly he's talking oh, these people asleep. who are falling asleep and not just sleeping in the car the car is driving itself to the work and the police is like, excuse me, you've been sleeping for the next, you know, for the past 4.2 miles. And he's like, oh, just, just woke up. Well, they, they, they are just, there are distracted drivers every day. So whether it's the women that are putting their makeup on in the car, drinking their coffee and talking to somebody on the car, not paying attention. It's just, it's just a bad, bad recipe for disaster. So, so that, that begs the question, honey, um, like, where are we at? Because... Starlink will be the new network. And ultimately that's what everything will be programmed into. So, you know, you'll you'll just program your destination in and it will take you there and it'll be through that network. So the flying terms, cars, you mean? I think I think possibly even before that, if we've got that network working, it will be like a new map system where you could possibly program your destination in if we're going to go driverless but again i don't think we need to do that because yeah, it will skip so. mm -hmm. it will skip to the next technology but my question is like where where are we with that network it's done being put yeah being put in place that's done yep that's oh, done I'm thinking if the trains are also going to be that much quicker, certainly going to another country or whatever, but even within your city or your state or whatever, you probably wouldn't even be needing to drive too much. You just would, you know, be so quick with these light rails or these other modes of transportation. There'd be fewer yeah. people needing cars. It'll be extremely fast yeah. um, to go from place to place. The longest period of time will be the shuttle that takes you there. Mm -hmm. And I do get that those are flying shuttles. I don't know what just why this dropped into my head, but you know, there's certain cultures, you know, certainly cultures that are off the grid. Like I think of the Amish population <laughs> who still are doing the horse and buggies and whatever. How are they going to be affected? Shock. Well, I mean, are they? Do you get that they will? I don't know. I don't know what I'm asking, but well, I think they'll religion. hang on as long as they can. They're, you're right. There's a religion aspect there. Yeah, and that's going to fall out. So when that falls out, they're going to be grabbing onto truth where they can. And I think that that could be their conversion. Yeah. But, you know, I wanted to make a comment back to Dana about that asleep. The only thing I can think about when people go to sleep is in those corporate meetings that we've all had in the mornings or wherever <laughs> when they're really early and you're sitting there and your eyes are shut but you think they're open until you open them up and everybody's looking at you and you kind of go um yeah um, oh, you do this I kind of thing. maybe that's what they do when you're yeah. driving your eyes closed and you think you're still seeing it, and then your eyes away and you open your eyes up and you crash a tree i don't uh, you know that's just to that sleep and thing because i've been in meetings before where my eyes are closed and i thought i was wide awake looking at everybody but then i opened my eyes up and went everybody's looking at me yeah. Dreaming about being awake in the meeting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But anyway, <laughs> I had to go back. I digress, but the Amish yeah. people, they're not as brainwashed as, as most people, are they? Because they don't watch TV and stuff. Is that right? They're not. Only by religion. 
the religious part of it is pretty yeah. tough, I would Real say. Bad. Different kind yeah. of a brainwashing. Real bad. Yeah. yeah. So to move on to a different system of things, I mean, we know that when things are crack, you know, changing and being broken down, will this entire year be a part of reconstructing the education system and getting our legal system back going, re-educating and revamping that? I actually feel like the education system will be defunct this year and people will probably be educating at home or in small groups. I don't feel like they're going to have it very organized this year. Um, and what was the other system? Well, just your system, I mean, like when you get all these corrupt politicians and government systems out, judges and the, le the legal beagles, I mean, all that stuff will have to be retrained and rewritten and Redone. It'll go back to common law, I think. And in the U.S., it'll be the sheriffs uh, who take over, I believe. So but that'll in be other happy. countries, it might just be military. Gotcha. But I mean, a lot of that will mm -hmm. be happening kind of simultaneously. And if, if you're in a smaller city or community that you know really well, first of all, everybody is going to be quite a bit surprised. It was one of our questions today, too. It'll be definitely trickling down into your local where people you thought were your friends, maybe part of your family, you had no idea that they were involved in some of this. And so, you know, a lot of this will be found out and dealt with and then have to move forward, reconstructing a new positive way of moving forward. Absolutely. Go ahead, David. What's, re excuse me. What's retail banking gonna look like by the end of the year? Mm, there's a question. Well, I don't think we'll have a retail spot anymore. It's all going to be with our card. Oh, I'm getting the, so the social security office will take over if you lose your card, like your quantum card. Um, everything will be run through the treasury. There'll be probably one place in every town where you can deal with stuff. They're still working parts of this out, I'm getting. But at first, the banks will be handling a lot of stuff, but it will be more in an advisory way. Um, they won't actually have any money there. Uh, they're going to have... Just the money, you know, now when you go to the bank, if you, you can't take all your money out, nobody can because this is not enough around. In the new system, aren't they going to have uh, enough physical money because they, because they need to, because they'd be backed by precious metals, that everybody could get any money out? It, aren't the banks going to actually hold that money like a normal bank should? You know, like it's, yeah. it's there if you need it. If you don't need it, you can just leave it there. They're not going to try and steal it or anything, or they're not going to you know, lend it out to 10 other people, you know what I mean? I think it'll be a treasury bank. So I don't know who these treasury banks are gonna be. I feel like they're trying to have one in every town, but if it's not, if it's like under 10,000, like you may have to travel further. Um, for some reason, I feel that you can get money through courier. <laughs> That's coming okay. in, um, like cash. But that bank, the Treasury Bank, will have a lot of money on hand. It's going to be like a fortress. Yeah. So who's going to be running? Going to, sorry. Aren't we going to be going to a Treasury note as opposed to the so. for a it's short time? And is it still going to be? Go ahead. I saw the first, and I don't know, maybe the guys, maybe they're out there. I don't know. I just, the other day, and I took a picture of it in a restaurant, a Bitcoin ATM. I've never seen that in my life. I thought I had to look for a time. Yeah, they're all over the place. I've never have mm -hmm. seen them. I've never, I don't even know what I would do when I went up to it. So I had to look at my driver's license to make sure I was in the same year because I didn't know what just happened to me. But, you know, <laughs> a Bitcoin ATM, I just went, what? I was scared to look at it because I didn't even know what would I do with that. I don't know, but why would I need that? But that just 
freaked me out in a little bit. And that's, you know, when you're talking about money, I was kind of going, oh, well. And um, I just think there's going to be a lot of changes. And even yeah. I don't want to switch the subject, but with that, the big mega retailers, I just think we're just, were we just going to get to stay at home and shop, which is fine with me. I hate to go out there, but I think the women don't like to get out and go into the shopping parts. I don't know. I think big- shopping will <clears throat> decline in a different way. Like food, the grocery stores will last the longest places like Wally world or, you know, large general stores kind of thing. I don't, I, I feel like they're going to disappear faster. Look at the transition but, right now. They have gone to the self-checkout more than ever, which reduces the jobs for those people. And yesterday when I was in one of those stores for something quick, every aisle had multiple employees with their carts doing the, the online shopper thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I got to thinking, well, here it is. Pretty soon you really aren't going to have people going to the store anyway. Yeah. It's all going to be done for you as long as they're around. Right. Go ahead, David. So will there be more or less cash in circulation then? And, you know, are people going to use more cash? Because At I'm sure you know, there's, there's a big push to cancel cash, obviously, right now. And you go to the supermarket and they've got six or seven only card, you know, card only cash registers, self-service. And they've got like three cash ones, which is stupid, obviously. Yeah. It makes things difficult if you want to use cash. Uh, so you, you saw in the in the past in you honey that it would be more sort of markets where people so more community based going down smaller yeah. scale yeah but i think this year will be a transition to that it won't necessarily yeah. show up like that right away yeah. um and i think that people are going to be more freaked out so they're going to actually use more cash mm. at first and and will it be called rainbow currency like we've been told in the past? I think they're on the fence. <laughs> so going back to that, because we were told, you know, initially, crash everything to zero, and then and then the good comes back after that crash. Are we going to see that, or are we going to see a slow changeover, which we're seeing now? where the system just keeps on flipping over and things disappear as it goes. I think it'll crash almost to zero. Yeah. And then they will say there are certain things that have not been legal. Yeah. And they're going to go away. So we need to see, you know, like records. I I feel the stock market is one of the things that's going to be the most like frightening to people. Yeah. Um, But these corporations, a lot of them are going to crash anyway. And most of them have crashed in some way already. Yeah. So that's that's going to be quick, isn't it? Yeah. The crash is not going to be like, oh, the layoffs and then downtrodden and all that. I think it's going to be closed because a lot of them are under a nefarious Mm -hmm. umbrella. And that umbrella, when that's, that's, you know, we know what I'm talking about that particular one and and a lot of corporations and companies and airlines and things of the sort are under that umbrella and i think some of this this downing of the american uh, you know the faa and the flights and all that it, it, it look our computer systems are much better than they have been today that's an excuse that you say that our computer systems go down so now we can't fly a plane anywhere but yet there are planes up there because i saw them so you know I don't know if this is the question is more just a just a generalization of what I see happening with that. Yeah. So the black and the rock and the van and the guard yeah, have that, already been exactly. taken over by the good people. And they're going to probably pick and choose like what do we take away um at what time as whatever's best for the people. But yeah, yeah, big corporations like insurance agencies and there's a lot of corporations that don't do anything really well for people. So those will go first. So because what what we um, initially are, are a lot of people were saying that Bitcoin was bad, but like they've done with all systems is they've taken the system and used it from the inside. 
So yep. they've slowly filtered out the bad. And if that system works, then they're going to use it. And that's what we're seeing with NFTs. So those systems will be switched into NFTs and that will become the new kind of wealth in companies. Mm -hmm. And the same with um, XRP. That's the foundation of the new movement exchange. of all those things. Yeah. yeah, the exchange. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll see that quite soon. We'll see silver go up quite soon. I feel like gold will kind of hold steady at what it's worth now. It may go up. Um, I don't know. The thing about the gold is what are how much is it going to be worth after they figure out that we have a whole lot of it? Because there's a lot of it that is like hidden away. There's a lot of it in the ground that is just like, it's right there, you know? Mm -hmm. I know people that, that, that that's their main income. They still go and look for gold and they become quite wealthy doing that. So yeah. we'll just kind of see, I know silver is much less plentiful, but I think they will be the same at one point and then maybe gold will drop and silver will still be going up. Yeah, because it's the gold is holding the monetary system, so it's backing everything. Yeah. And as the monetary system disappears, as we see it that way, which it will eventually, I guess yeah. the gold becomes obsolete. Right. But it, at this point, like this year, they're both great to have. Silver yeah. is going to be very nice by the end of this year, I would say. I don't think it'll reach its full potential. But... I do get that it's going to go up to an outrageous amount. Um, I was getting 18,000 an ounce. So we'll just kind of see how fast that climbs. But people are in general are going to be extremely comfortable with how much yeah. money they have and what they have as far as material goods. So that's going to get as fast as possible. That will be taken out of the equation because it keeps people in the lack, yeah. you know, feeling lack. And then they don't think they can survive. So then they get into panic. Because it, it's the foundation of how they've flipped everything. Yeah. So, and that's actually where are we at with their money being taken away? Because uh, are there being nothing. Yeah, because yeah. Cause that that's shut their whole operation down, right? Yeah, the bad guys only have stashes and they have a hard time getting to them and they don't really have access to the banking system anymore, like to their accounts. Everything's been taken away at this point. So the really negative people that have been squishing the public they're gone at this point and if they're not gone gone they're in a cell so it's going to be the small town people you know that people find out about later mm -hmm. um that'll be more painful i think but and they won't show tons and tons of you know trials either They'll show several, but we're not going to watch that all day long on the TV either because that's not good for humanity. We could yeah, so watch they... a, couple of, a couple of hours. I just want to see a few people. Right, a couple <laughs> hours. A couple of hours. Okay, make that'll, sure. do. that'll do. Yeah. <laughs> I got about six hours, I think. I have a list of people that I'm waiting to come up <laughs> alphabet. <laughs> um, yeah, but I got one question for the, for the men out there because I just, I just know – is the sports platforms because it's fallen and you know and i'm an avid football american football person and so i don't care what it is but i'm avid about those and i'm okay now because anybody's teams that my one team three and eight and the other one two and 14 i'm ready to let it go because i'm so upset with all of it anyway and then i saw a video on a bluetooth ball that has that they it's fact i watched it i mean i saw them manufacture these and they were doing it inside they can radio and put magnetics on these footballs so that they can catch them 
much quicker with their glove that's they don't even realize that they have that or the little the little bluetooth type balls for the kicks that swerve in and do these great things so that's can that just opens up riggedness to me um mm. so if you can clarify that but i think that's going to be going away this is the beginning with the collapses of these people is the beginning of showing the men that it's this is all been bad and and we're gonna have to look for something else but when they let make you lose like we've lost i'm ready to let it go i don't want to ever go through a season like that again so yeah is that right is it will go away professional sports will go away because there's no reason for it it's very romanesque um it's kind yeah. of like the modern day gladiator so that's gonna go away but Kids will play sports. I actually think that keeping score will probably go away. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the things that we've done, like I love golf, but if I have to keep score, I don't want to play. Mm-hmm. So I yeah. think a lot of that will actually go away because they're not going to have competition between people anymore and it's not going to be like oh well we couldn't tell you that you did like there's let's say you won a blue ribbon but they wouldn't tell any of the other kids that you did well that's not the case either so if you do really well and you excel at something it's going to be acknowledged but they're also not going to put people down because they're not doing well Mm -hmm. so in certain things and nobody's going to be boxed into these are the only things we care about in school it's not going to be like that at all it's going to be like okay what do you want to do with your life and let's teach you things about that and then if you don't like it then you can learn something else yeah Yeah, this is about the the physicality of it the playing of it right yeah it's really Mm -hmm. good and a lot of fun you know yeah. yeah and teamwork and learning how to work together yeah but with the professional sports it's always been mind-boggling to the average person these people getting millions and you know like obscene amount of money to do something yeah. that you know everybody would maybe want to have a chance to do it didn't make sense so they were using that in a nefarious way too no yeah, it's all it's all about control isn't it because if they're paying big getting paid that much money think about how different the world would have been if they all just, if at least some of them who saw the agenda for what it was actually spoke out with the platforms that they have, but they can't because they put their contracts in on the line. Yeah. Yeah. Is there one oh. sport that's more affected than another? They're all really bad. I think they're all, yeah, they're all bad. We're, well, we're seeing FIFA being taken down at the moment. The which even one? here, even FIFA. the AFL here is really bad. Wow. Yeah. Well, and then there's even the gambling thing, you know what I mean? Like from horse racing to dog racing to the greyhound racing. and mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that will all go away too. Imagine um, those 100,000 but... 100, people stadiums, the negativity of energy in that, where people are comp- in, collecting in, energy. A meanness in their mindset, even though it, we think it's fun, there's a meanness on kill him, pull him. You know, it, it, it's all of that. That's negative stuff that, that mm-hmm. 100,000 people. What a beacon for that, you know. Oh, yeah. To, to well, get they're Lush, yeah, they're designed as loose connect collectors, right? Yeah, yep. those stadiums. That's you why it's see- like a funnel. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and it's yeah. not just you know, you know, like Rex said, you know, to the good old men folk out there. But I mean, I used to be in rhythmic gymnastics and. I, I lived abroad for many, many, many years and I didn't watch any television during the time. And I came back and I was kind of shocked because uh, there was the Olympics were going on at the time I returned to the country. And I was looking at the rhythmic gymnastics and I saw these little, you know, male members on these ladies and all of a sudden they had broad shoulders, no waist, and they were walking like lumberjacks. And basically they were tiny little men in my eyes. I know what a female body looks like. I mean, when you go to a comp- competition, especially the Olympics, obviously I've never been to one, you know, as a gymnast. But when you do, when you have a competition kind of a era of the year, 
you go into a very lean, you eat no starches, no sugar, just lean protein and salads. That's it. And your body changes. And I've seen that happen on my case and on the case of, you know, whoever was in my group. But then, then I went and, you know, they were completely a different shape. They were the shape of men. So it's not just, you know, that the sports in, its, in and of itself is somehow corrupted. But it's, it's basically these days you're introducing members of the opposite sex. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, you see, it's been happening for a while. Yeah. Look at the Yeah. I've worked with the Australian uh, women's cricket team, and they all act like men. Uh, it's yeah. It's they're they're a version of of men the way that they're they're kind of presented. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well. So is there anything else that we need to bring up about I'm what's going to happen this about year? Go ahead. With the weather. How is the weather? I mean, we've been talking about this earlier. How do you see the weather is going to be different? By the I end get of the by year. September, it will be quite a bit different. It's still going to fluctuate a little bit, but I feel like by September, if they're manipulating the weather at all, they'll be honest about it. And they'll say, we're only going to be manipulating the weather over the Sahara or over this desert because we're going to bring the rain in. I think in general, the manipulation will end. Well, no. is, Cal is California paying a price right now? Because they don't get rain like that. And they're in I'm used to 56 inches of rain, whatever, at four days, but they get 15 and they're all, it's in an uproar out there. I don't know. That's intentional, right? Part of that's intentional. Yes. Yeah. And part of it is out of hand. Yeah. Is it broke? The system broke that they use and it's just. Um, the system is a little bit, I would say overloaded at this point. Uh -huh. The process of being biblical has kind uh, of overloaded the system mm. in general. Yeah. Okay. But growing so, food and stuff will be okay this year. We will be able to grow food because I know it was really bad last year. Um, and then mm -hmm. we'll actually be able to grow food in most places through the winter in a greenhouse. So winter will be more mild, I think, this year. Mm -hmm. So in talking about weather, like we're talking about, let's also talk about how long it takes for time. We've been talking, you've mentioned the days. Well, they won't be 24 hours. We'll have 36 to 40 hour, you know, I mean, we'll nap in between. And like everybody here on this call, we're all in different time zones. Time zones won't be, everybody will be in sync. How long will that take? I feel like some countries will be really like stressed out about it. So they may take a little longer to get on board with everybody's in the same time zone. And one thing that we forgot to mention is when the solar flash peaks, either right before that or at that time, we're not going to have a dome anymore. So we're going to see the real sky. And that's the real biblical thing that's going to happen. Planets will be closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, planets will be closer. Stars will be further. Some of those uh, sci-fi shows I've been watching, they're showing that very thing. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> yeah, well, the show, the show Night Sky shows portals everywhere. Yes, that's what I told yeah. you to watch. Yeah, it's guy. Yeah, it's very cool. So that's probably the most important thing that's going to happen this year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because yeah. we're going to see different. a whole different kind of world. We're going to know that we're part of an entire top of Earth. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get to meet the Tartarians. Oh my goodness, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And every single human on this planet right now that's in the dome, I mean, they have a mentor. 
everyone that they know is going oh, to be here. Okay. And then some mentors have two because they're not totally sure. Because there's not as many Tartarians outside. As people. Yeah. So it, if we're getting all our memories back, because it feels like, you know, as the veil thins, more and more comes in. Are we going to really need a, a mentor as such? Or is that more about teaching us about other lands? It's teaching us about other lands. It's going to be teaching us about tech. Yeah. Um, so the tech that they've been using, it's going to be kind of helping us integrate with them. History, teaching us about history. Helping um, us catch up with what we missed out on. Yeah, we have to catch up. But mm. also our gifts won't all come in at once. It'll come in when it's in your highest good. So some people will get tons of gifts during the solar flash. Other people will get all their downloads, but they won't necessarily tap into those gifts yet. So some people, they'll get them as they can accept them and work with them. Because if you give everybody all their gifts during the solar flash and everybody is like a superpower, you know, um, like everybody can levitate and everybody can, you know, do crazy things. The world is not going to adjust very quickly. It will be too crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't see that happening. I see it as it'll integrate, you know, as it is in the highest good of all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, I, I keep getting the universal timing card, which is temperance. Yeah. And, and so each individual has to go through whatever they've got to go through to get to that point. Exactly. Yeah. And don't that's, feel left out. You know, it's okay. Yeah. It's in your highest good. And if you need to do a little work to get there, to get more gifts, then feel free to do so. Yeah. Yeah. Is everybody going to have the same gifts ultimately, or are there only, uh, well, people have different things, you know, so someone will get levitation, somebody will get telekinesis or something. Or... We'll all be able to do everything eventually to a certain degree, but we all have like the most important gift for us. Right. So be a, yeah. That'll come yeah. in first and be the biggest thing you know because it'll be your strongest one to grow yeah yeah but everybody will be able to move things with their mind everybody will be able to levitate a little bit does that mean you're gonna fly across the you know city not necessarily it means maybe you could float across the grass <laughs> you know you could moonwalk well the yeah. earth are gonna want to know so. if they can be their playing house like Bewitch did, and just do their nose and the house is clean, that's going to be... <laughs> yeah, we'll have little machines for that at first. And they are going to look kind of like those... What are those called again? Rum the rumba? little vacuum? Rumba? Rumba? rumba. Yes, the rumba. Yeah. Rumba? Rumba. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the things that's that cats ride. Disc. Is that the round disc? Yeah. yeah. It runs around mm. the floor? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's going to be little things that dust and little like well it knows the commercial for that is it knows when there's dog crap and when there's when there's regular stuff and it the commercial is the people inside driving it going oh no that so that knows when not to suck that into your into the thing well it's yeah. got little men inside it like a little spaceship oh, the what? commercial the commercials oh shows space people inside and they're like driving around the floor kitchen floor and then there's a duty on the floor and so it goes oh alert alert you know and the technology is the fact that it won't suck it into your vacuum cleaner thing and make it all smell bad hopefully. i haven't seen that one. Oh yeah that's on the commercial mm -hmm. it makes me laugh but anyway yeah. I'll, I'll click it on there one of these times i'll find it eventually cleaning the house will not be like a big deal anymore it won't matter because little things, I don't think that they're going to introduce like AI robots or anything, but there will be little robotic things that do things for us mm -hmm. in the house. And that means cleaning the bathroom, cleaning, you know, dusting, dusting 
Well, the Jetsons told that story because yeah, it'll be more their, like the Jetsons. Yeah, yeah. where they, we already have their you know way to talk on the TV and you know, all that stuff. If you go back and watch a cartoon or two of those, right? It's already it's there. Way different than Flintstones. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, TV. Uh, I would imagine that the entire programming schedule will change in many ways. Oh yeah. Well, I most feel people like just not watch TV anymore. The, they just won't care about it as much anymore. Because yeah. um, they'll actually have interesting lives. Right. Yeah, we'll be busy doing good we'll be stuff. Busy. We'll be helping well, each other. It's a corporation, mm -hmm. that, I think, is what that is. And that's going to go. And what's more entertaining to me is to get on, on the YouTube thing and just and just find channels that I like and, and what people put out there and, and watch that. And that's I, and I go to that more than I do what's on NBC or any of those. Oh, you yeah. know, and what's you know, I don't I don't watch TV. I don't watch the news. I don't need to. I don't need to know what the news is. I've got everything I need right here, right now, in this moment. So what they've fake telling me, I'm not going to get upset about because I'm not going to know about it. I know what I know when I see it outside, and I live in that moment every day. And that's mm -hmm. how I've disconnected from all of that, and I'm a happy person from it. But I watch YouTube channels, and I know when they when they don't resonate well. But I'll watch, you know, just hidden history types of channels that are just out there that people are just doing that they don't realize what they're doing. That's what's really good is that they're just talking about stuff and they don't realize what they're telling you. And that's that's that innocent information, and I love those. Yeah. So, but anyway. Yeah, those are great. Mm -hmm. I think we've talked on we've talked uh, touched a lot of points, so I don't think we've really miss too much yeah does anybody have anything else are we good i was just gonna mention this oh yeah i haven't read the yeah, gospel of 17 yeah um which i haven't read but on the back of it so i got this a couple of years ago because i'm a hoarder with books <laughs> uh, like honey <laughs> yes <laughs> but uh, on the back of it um uh commonly known as 17 from the german word quell or source so that letter has always meant that so yeah have a think about that <laughs> yeah i think that's amazing yeah that's a great thing to end with because yeah. it's all about source i mean that's what's that is what's driving everything yeah yep so Very that's good. where we're getting all our information from source through the sun yep through the sun well thank you everybody you bet thank you appreciate it bye bye, bye now. <laughs>